Hey guys, welcome back to Grey Wolf TV and we are continuing with our episodes of Blind Manor. This is episode 5. The last one was all the background and everything we kind of needed to know as to exactly what had been going on with Danny before she arrived here and what this thing was that was haunting her. So she has dark past herself, not really through any fault of her own. Her only crime is liking women instead of men and this guy who was she was supposed to marry couldn't accept it didn't see the signs and then when finally got told jumped out of the car and got ran over and he made all the explanation as to why we saw what looked like headlamps for eyes and he still doesn't want to seem to let it go he is hanging around and he's even kind of throwing a spanner in the works with her getting together with the gardener because she tried to kiss her at the end and he was there again he wasn't to begin with then he was um but i don't think she's going to give up and i don't think the gardener is going to let it stand at that either she really likes her so we're just going to carry on and see what other flashbacks or memories or other information we can get i'm still convinced that this little dollhouse that this girl has is an integral part of what's going on and it's her and her brother who are in effect they're either protecting or they're causing it i don't know which right let's carry on episode five the housekeeper knew more than most that deep experience was never peaceful and because she knew this ever since she'd first called bly home she would always find her way back to peace within her daily routine. We can't count on our future either. No past, no future. Oh my God, it's scary, I know, but Owen, oh, you're young. You spend a lot of time caring for other people. It's a job. It's a bit of a relief. I need to be ashamed of it being a relief. I'm untethered now whether I like it or not. Now you get to move and on. And now I'm thinking... <sighs> Maybe I'll go back to Paris. Say it with me. Anna Gross in Paris. <gasps> what would I do? It's not the time. Croissants and, and, and drink good wine. Uh, Owen Sharma. Oh, OK. We're getting it's this now. So nice to meet you. Right. Right, yes. Right, yes. Well, I'm, I'm what upset. is with Hello, this it's, woman? It's a pleasure, please do. Why do you want to work at Bly? Because it's close to home. Oh, well, that's honest. Well, I, I'm, I'm too honest. It's, it's probably pathological. No, I'm not sure that's the type of experience you want. Uh, Miles is seven and it's rather picky. Flora is five and the darling. They both are, really. The Wingraves, they're here for holidays and summers. We need a cook who intends to stay on for a while. Yesterday, my, my mother thought it was 1962 and that I was my grandfather. And that's why I'm here. I need to make a living while I mind her and... I'm not getting it. Uh, sorry, were you, uh... Were you... Yeah. Straight upstairs. Should we get That's to meet them now? They haven't heard a word I've said all day. <laughs> I thought you'd left. You usually leave before... Is Sam coming to get you? I don't know how he could be, Mum. But apparently he is. Apparently he is. He's just fine. Why does she keep jumping? Jumping from place to place and not knowing how you got there is a sign of a memory issue. Here she goes again. Any of us could die at any moment, or we could forget our entire lives, which is like dying. So then, think about it. Our moments are supposed to be like... Chapters. You talk to me like rubbish and I haven't heard from you in days. Leave your voice down. Don't tell me what to do. I'm not telling you what to do. I just don't understand why you're so upset. Mark, okay, I'm, I'm sorry. I'm sorry. 
Come here. Don't make it completely obvious, done He's right in the doorway. Hey. This is really disorientating. You scared me. What are you doing up here? Show what's in your pocket. Jesus, son, I'm buying me dinner first. To Henry asks you to get that for him. That's right. Hmm. What's he want with that? I don't know. I'm just following orders. A ring and chat then, shall I? It's probably worth thousands. Priceless. Well, you wouldn't think it looking at it, would you? Henry might be too much of a mess to notice what you're up to. But I'm not. And what am I up to? Oh, you're Being a thief. Things that aren't yours. There's them, and then there's us, Hannah. We're the help. You think Henry will take care of you? Or what, the kids? Do you know many housekeepers who steal enough after they retire? I'll have the necklace, please. This is my home, Peter Quint. You'll leave long before I do. Oh. That's exactly the same shape, crack. This is, it's going to sound strange, but haven't we already done this? Yeah, we have. Yes. You tell me. What? What? It's okay. Let's get back to it. In Paris, I was a sous chef, which means they only let you cut vegetables. Here, I'll be putting everything together myself. What the Here, fuck is going on? Miles, Dominic Wingrave! What do you think you're doing? What on earth has gotten into you? Enjoying fag on a nice sunny day. <laughs> what do you do? Or do you want to die a horrible choking death, hmm? Honestly. He speaks like a 50-year-old uh, man. Honestly. Who's it for? Well, that's the spirit moving on and moving up. That's for Sam. <laughs> I don't think you let remembrance candles for the living. No. You don't normally. But for him, a special case. Come sit, I want to talk to you about something. What would you say to making your position live in? And that would be a lovely nest egg for you. And we would compensate you accordingly, of course. Uh, but Sam... Well, we light that candle for him, don't we? I used to be a daddy's girl. What? Until, of course, I grew up and I wasn't anymore. So when you find someone who truly sees you, who truly believes in you, sometimes more than you believe in yourself, that you are smart enough and capable enough and tells you so, or you hold on to them and you don't let go. I've never met anyone like him. I know he's not perfect. More than that, though, isn't it? Uh -huh. Forgive me for saying so, Rebecca, but he's going to shit out of me. It's all so exciting and Damn, fun. And that's the, the trap, woman. Life, that little voice in my head saying I'm not good enough has disappeared. You worry too much. Okay, I've been with men like him before. No. No, that's not true. You told me yourself. You told me you never met anyone like him before. And you don't get to have it both ways. Oh, Hannah, honestly. And she's got to get... Oh. Let me get your opinion, Rebecca. More salt in the stew? What? I'm looking at this as an opportunity to... Oh, my skills. God. In Paris, I was a sous chef, which means they only let me chop vegetables. You're not making much sense. We're not like them, Bex. Henry's never going to give you the pupillage. He's never going to make me a partner. I need you to pack her bags and be ready to go tomorrow night. What are you talking about? I can't just... Please, 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 just do that for me. There's a few things for me to do, and then I'm coming back here for you, I promise. I haven't seen you in this one before, though. What are you doing here? I, how did you slip into my... I, I'm so sorry. In Flora's dollhouse, well, something strange. I'm sorry, it's fine. The necklace. I thought I said go back to bed. What? What the fuck? Okay, she's got your number. I thought I 
Zase kubak, bed. What happened? I don't know. What do you mean? What did she do to you? Who? That bed. thing. The lady. We just the dragged lady. you in there. She's. Don't you remember? What? <laughs> I've seen her before. The others, they say, stay away from her. What the shit's going on? Let me go! Let me go! You bitch! Let me go! Oh, I'm gone. And it's why we keep seeing him, because the boy's projecting it. I mean, this is all you. I'm you, aren't I? We've been doing this since it happened, haven't we? A woman. A woman in bed with him. Oh, my. But some women I've not met before, have I? Haven't you? Oh, Rebecca. is two years away. You are Hannah Gross. <laughs> the year is 1987. You're at Bly. Dominic is dead. Charlotte is dead. Rebecca is dead. Peter is missing. Flora is eight. And Miles. Something is wrong with Miles. Peter Quint! You step away from that boy, do you hear me? For fuck's sake, woman! Why can't you just leave well enough alone? Miles? Nope. Most of the time, but not right now. To be dragged off this fucking property. Away from this god awful trap that you had to go and follow us. It was going so well. Honestly, Hannah! Oh, oh crap. Well, that's her, Dad. Mrs. Gross, what's happening? Hi, Miles. It's nice to meet you. This is when Danny turns up. My lady. Oh. <laughs> right, well, let's find our way inside. I'm sure Mrs. Clayton is eager to see the house. Yes. Right, well, then, come along. I will go to Paris with you. Yes. I'll go hold you later. No, wait. Uh, no, no, um... I know the road. It's fine. Wait. Please. It's all good. The year is 1987. You were at Bly. Miles is ten. Flora is eight. You are Hannah Gross. Okay, that was episode five, and that was the weirdest ass episode ever. All right, okay. Um, there's only one, two options here. The woman's dead, which that's what I'm taking from this. And she's trapped there the same way as Peter is. And Rebecca. And probably others. From whatever this thing is that dragged him into the lake. Which was pretty cool the way it was done. Or. She is having some sort of. Out of body memory time slip. Whatever. <laughs> I don't know. You can never tell with this series. And she's trying to tell herself. That, now I understand, is what the kitchen scene was. Was her trying to tell herself, this is where you are, this is 987, blah, blah, blah. That was a weird ass episode. So, he was going to steal the necklace and the kids knew there was something wrong with the dollhouse that that thing was got girl was going to turn up drag him kill him and then he comes walking back out because it's no longer him anymore he's trapped on the property just the same way they were all trapped um in season one and 
The minute he touched, touched his shoulder, he became part of being within him, which is why Miles is acting so weird. I said, they showed a little bit of it right at the beginning with him acting very out of character for, for his age, for him to be 10. The way he touched Danny's hair, the way he talks. Now we know why. It's been confirmed now. And I think when she keeps seeing him, she keeps seeing Peter, it's that. It's him projecting him outward. Um, the only part that doesn't make sense is Rebecca supposed to have killed herself in the lake because this guy just up and vanished that night and never came back. No, she wouldn't do that. Why would she do that? She's in that lake as well for the same damn reason. Has to be, surely, right? I don't know. <laughs> I don't know. That was a very... Di she said it herself. I'm feeling very discombobulated. And that's what that was a very fractured episode of her jumping here and there. And having memories of events that haven't happened yet. And losing memories of events that have happened. I'm sure when I look back on this episode as we get further in and more is revealed. I will be able to... <clears throat> dissect this episode better than what I'm able to right now because there's two or three different ways of interpreting and seeing this but it was it was not one of the better episodes because of the nature of what it was it was very repetitive but it did give us how he died we still don't know what this girl thing is. We now know there is definitely something wrong with Miles, even though I knew that anyway. But it has explained why she's always, like she's not there, you know, up here, that she's not there every time you see her or she's spoken to. It's like a mind is somewhere else. Kind of explains it. Right. Um, we will see what more is revealed in the next episode. So until then, guys, Post your theories down in the comments. Please don't go ahead. Let me know what you took from this episode when you watched it. Um, I, know, I know not everyone can do that because it's very difficult to explain to somebody what you thought what this was when you know what the outcome is further down the line. You try and recall back whether you were confused or not at that point. Um, <laughs> but this is the whole point of a live reaction. You haven't a damn clue what's going on. And even after the fact, sometimes you can be completely accurate or you can be completely wrong. This episode will be available over on Patreon as it normally is. The link will be in the description, but it will also be available to YouTube members. If you're not sure how that works, all you have to do is click on the join button and you will get the details all there before you actually physically join right see you for episode six next guys so until then thanks a lot for watching if you're not already subscribed to the channel very much appreciate it if you would click that button turn your notifications on and you know when the next one of blind manor will release i will see you next time till then guys hope you enjoyed the video see you for the next one Duh.